Hi guys, how's everyone? Um, I'm back with another quick review. And um, I think the last review I said that I had cut my hair. Now I really cut it. I even cut the bang. I did it all myself. Still looking at these YouTubes. And actually it's like a diva cut. So a diva cut is basically just when you do a cut with your dry curls. And I got so many tips from the intro, I mean from the YouTube. Uh, a lot of people were doing different things or different ways of how they do their own diva cuts. And I did it on my dry hair. I want you guys to see the back. Yeah, um, I just did it. It's So it's still kind of damp, wet, whatever you want to call it. Um, I used my can to... My good old fave Cantu, which is almost gone. It's almost gone, guys. I have to pick up another one, but I love this stuff. You can basically use the Cantu with anything. Pair it with its own, its own brand or anything, really. I haven't ever had flakes or anything with this this cream. It's the curl curling cream, and I just love it. As well um, as I used for my gel was the Curl Bomb Moisturizing Styling Gel. Yes, when they say curl bomb, it's thebomb.com for real. Um, I only got the gel in this um, this line basically because this was like fifteen dollars, which is right there, fourteen ninety nine, fifteen dollars, and I got it from one of my local beauty supplies. I wanted to get the uh, the mask as well as the leave in, but um, guys, I mean, I don't have I don't have that type of money to just keep buying like this was our 15 so almost the uh leaving was probably another what 11 something now i'm gonna wind up paying somewhere between 25 to 30 bucks i mean that's kind of like a lot of money just for like two products they these people are really getting us for these products that come out and makes you want to go and run and get these products i mean i'm all for trying new products but goodness gracious they're really breaking our pockets they're they're, they're wanting our coins for these products. But anyway, guys, um, just to let you know, well, I'm going to tell you about my Diva Cut that I did myself. I kind of didn't like it at first because it's like I took a lot from my hair. But I had a lot of straggly pieces in the back that were weighing my hair down like so bad. And I remember saying how fine my hair was. And now when it dries or whatever, I find that my hair is so much thicker. It truly is just from the weight of those dead curls or those dead straggly ends I had in the back because it was so uneven and it was like I had long pieces down to here somewhere near my bra strap and the other part was still it was long but it wasn't as long because I had some breakage uh, when I was doing my color and that's the reason um, that's the reason I had a few setbacks with my hair, as well as taking medication for my eye. Um, you know, I just had some setbacks with my hair, and, you know, it was just going through some changes. But until I got everything under control, knowing how to do my curls and moisturize and everything, and the curls are just popping, popping, as you can see. But, yeah, guys, um... So I actually do like it. Um, I wanted to show you. I had my hair in a different style today. I actually wore it up and um, had the bang hanging. And it was like a nice puffy, puffy like ponytail. It was really, really nice. And it really is so thick. But um, I have some hair in my mouth. I am sorry, guys. But yes, um, I just wanted to come and tell you or share that with you. Uh, just a few more tips of what I did. Um, it's kind of like I layered it. And I didn't think it would come out this great. I was supposed to go to the Diva, uh, the Diva Curl Shop to have it, have them do it for my birthday, which is in two months. I'll be 49. But um, I couldn't wait. And I just wanted to try it. I kept looking at videos of the Diva people. Some people were doing it themselves. And basically what you can do, you can take your hair, you can put it in the whole thing, you put it up, and you put it in a ponytail. I, I would park the backs in like threes. And cut from here to where you want the ends cut or whatever and you take the other section and you cut that and then back down to your third you can either put that up or you can leave it down and just measure it from like here and 
you know, cut it from there. And that's basically what I did. And um, it didn't come out too bad. It's, it's not bad. And I know now it'll really, you know, grow. It'll really grow that much faster because the ends and everything are cut. And it's more of an even tone cut, guys. But I do like it. It's, it's not bad. And I do have a few styles in mind already. I've got two. Um, I'm still thinking of more styles. But yeah, guys, um, as usual, subscribe and rate, and I'll just see you in the next.